The world may be on the verge of redefining what we once thought was impossible. At the center of this potential breakthrough is Maxwell Chikambutso, an inventor who has made headlines for his claims of developing a self-powered vehicle, one that does not require external charging or refueling. This concept, if proven true, would mark a revolutionary moment in the history of transportation. According to Chikambutso, working prototypes of this car are already in existence and in use. Naturally, such an extraordinary claim has been met with both excitement and skepticism. While some believe this innovation could change the world, others question the plausibility of such technology. It is only logical for people to be doubtful. Claims of such magnitude require concrete evidence. This is why it is important to closely examine the available information, distinguish between fact and speculation, and address the key questions, when will this vehicle be available? Where will it be sold? How much will it cost? And most importantly, does this technology actually work? As of now, the self-powered car remains under development, with no official release date confirmed. However, Chikambutso and his team at Seth Technologies continue making progress toward getting the car road ready. Their work extends far beyond merely assembling a vehicle, they are redefining the way energy is used in transportation. A technological leap of this scale requires thorough testing, refinement, and safety verification before it can be deemed viable for daily use. Though an official launch date has yet to be announced, signs indicate that advancements are being made. Seth Technologies has hinted at potential collaborations and ongoing discussions with investors. Unlike some Silicon Valley startups that receive substantial funding from the outset, Chikambutso's team is strategically securing investment to scale production. Even Tesla, which is now a dominant player in the electric vehicle market, started small. Groundbreaking technology does not emerge overnight, but the determination of Chikambutso and his team suggests that they are actively working to bring this innovation to the public as soon as possible. If the self-powered vehicle becomes available, the next question is where it will be sold. Traditional car dealerships may not be the ideal distribution channel due to the uniqueness of the technology. Instead, a direct-to-consumer model, similar to Tesla's approach in its early days, could be implemented. Imagine being able to customize a self-powered vehicle online, select its features, and have it delivered directly to your doorstep. Another possibility is forming partnerships with existing electric vehicle dealerships to leverage their infrastructure and customer networks. As with any revolutionary innovation, fraudulent schemes are likely to emerge. If this car gains traction, misleading claims and counterfeit pre-orders could surface. Until Seth Technologies makes an official announcement, it is essential to remain cautious and avoid unauthorized sellers. Sticking to verified sources will be crucial in preventing scams. If an offer seems too good to be true, it probably is. Reports indicate that commercialization efforts have already begun, with early sales underway. Allegedly, 3,000 units have been ordered for South Africa, while another 20,000 units are destined for Zambia. Discussions with potential partners in Switzerland are also ongoing, with at least one car and a motorbike already purchased by Swiss buyers. Bringing this groundbreaking technology to the masses, however, requires more than just innovation, it demands substantial financial resources, state-of-the-art facilities, and strong support networks. In industries like electric vehicles and renewable energy, significant investments are necessary to transform a concept into a commercially viable product. Innovators must have access to cutting-edge laboratories, skilled professionals, and advanced manufacturing capabilities. Although specific investors backing Chikambutso's venture have not been publicly disclosed, Reports suggest that global energy firms, automotive manufacturers, and technology investors are showing interest. These stakeholders recognize the potential of this technology and are eager to be part of what could be a transformative shift in the energy and transportation sectors. One of the strongest endorsements comes from the Zimbabwean government, which has acknowledged Chikambutso's work and even allocated land for research facilities. This level of governmental support adds credibility to his claims and could open doors to international partnerships and further funding opportunities. 
With the right investments and collaborations, Chikambutso's ideas could make a profound global impact, revolutionizing industries and improving lives worldwide. Chikambutso claims that his vehicle is powered by a device known as a micronic energy system, which he reportedly invented in 2009. According to him, this system converts radio frequencies into usable electrical energy, an assertion that challenges conventional scientific understanding. He states that the technology defies established laws of thermodynamics, making it difficult to secure a traditional patent. As a result, he has opted to keep the specifics of the technology as a trade secret. One of the remarkable aspects of this self-powered vehicle is that it can also function as a mobile energy source, capable of supplying up to 15 kilowatts of electricity to a household. In the event of a power outage, the car could provide backup power to essential home appliances, making it far more practical than traditional generators. When it comes to performance, the vehicle does not compromise on power. It features a 160 kilowatt electric motor, delivering approximately 214 horsepower. This level of output ensures that the car can handle various terrains and driving conditions, from city streets to highways. It also boasts a torque range of 320 to 380 newton meters, ensuring strong acceleration and a smooth driving experience. The vehicle can reach a top speed of 220 km per hour, placing it on par with many high-performance electric cars available today. Whether used for daily commutes or long-distance travel, this car is designed to offer both speed and endurance. Drivers will also have access to two distinct driving modes, Standard and Sport. The Sport mode enables the vehicle to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2 seconds, providing an exhilarating experience for those who enjoy high-speed performance. Meanwhile, the Standard mode prioritizes energy efficiency and smooth handling, making it ideal for city driving. This versatility makes the vehicle suitable for a range of driving needs, whether one is looking for fuel-free practicality or an exciting performance experience. One of the biggest questions surrounding this vehicle is its cost. While an official price has not yet been announced, Chikambutso has emphasized his commitment to making the car affordable. His vision is to create a clean energy vehicle that is accessible to everyday consumers, not just the wealthy. If this goal is achieved, the price point will likely be comparable to mid-range electric vehicles rather than luxury models. However, the final cost will ultimately depend on production expenses, market demand, and the level of investment secured. These factors will determine whether the car can be produced at a price that aligns with Chikambutso's mission of affordability. Beyond self-powered cars, Chikambutso has also developed other applications of his energy technology, including a self-sustaining generator and a superbike. His generator, if proven effective, could provide electricity without relying on traditional fuel sources, offering significant benefits to rural communities, developing nations, and disaster relief efforts. The superbike remains somewhat mysterious, but it is said to operate using the same self-sustaining energy system as the car, eliminating the need for charging. With such bold claims, scrutiny is inevitable. Chikambutso has revealed that he faced significant obstacles when attempting to patent his technology, as it contradicts established scientific principles. He has also shared personal challenges, including allegations that his business partner was poisoned in Silicon Valley, an incident he claims was linked to opposition against his work. These dramatic accounts add to the intrigue surrounding his inventions but also raise questions about the credibility and independent verification of his claims. If Chikambutso's assertions turn out to be valid, his self-powered vehicle could be one of the most groundbreaking innovations of modern times. However, skepticism remains, and extraordinary claims require indisputable proof. The world will have to wait and observe as new developments unfold. If this technology is genuine and feasible, it could revolutionize transportation, redefine energy consumption, and shape the future in ways previously thought impossible.